Travis Holmes with A7BN Sports and BigCatCountry.com here with your Jacksonville Jaguars update. The Jaguars continued joint practices with the Detroit Lions today in Allen Park, Michigan, prior to their 1 p.m. kickoff on Saturday. Uh, today's practice was apparently a pretty windy day in shells and shorts, so no live tackling, no hitting. Uh, but it was a pretty competitive practice between both what seemingly evenly matched squads. Uh, Dewey Winger started the action off. You know, Trevor Lawrence 2022 stunt double with two interceptions in the red zone period. One uh, off Jared Goff and the other off Nate Sudfield. Zay Jones scored two red zone touchdowns from Trevor Lawrence. However, those were the only two touchdowns scored by the red zone offense in 7-on-7s. Seven uh, the Jaguars D ended up giving up three touchdowns to Jared Goff, and he went seven of eight in that period. Uh, one touchdown was given up by Trayvon Walker, and the other one was Rayshon Jenkins. Meanwhile, Josh Allen actually had a pretty impressive day overall in both the seven, in both the team periods and his one on ones. Uh, he had multiple sacks and multiple pressures in the team periods. Trevor Lawrence, on the other hand, had a up and up and down day, but I'll say it was more up than down. Uh, he had one overthrown interception where he was being pressured by Hutchinson um, and ended up overthrowing it to Calvin Ridley by about 15 yards. So Chauncey just basically called it like a punt. Um, other than that, other than that, you know, individual you know, rough throw, he had a pretty efficient day overall. He, his connection to Ridley was heating up. At one point, they ended up having three plays in a row. Um, while well, they were just peppering <laughs> Ridley, and really the Lions defense couldn't guard him. Uh, Brendan Strange also had a, the play of the day, Moss and Br Brian Branch, who had near-perfect coverage. Um, so it's always good to see the player that everyone, you know, in Jaguar fandom wanted to draft, uh, getting to guard the tight end who actually got drafted in the second round or near that same spot. Uh, in reference to the team injury updates, Foley, Fatukasi, Josh Wells, and Antonio Johnson were all ruled out for Saturday's game. Um, and for any of you that missed it, Jaguars.com huddle up with Bucky Brooks reported on Wednesday night uh, that Josh Wells was injured in Wednesday's practice with an unknown injury, and he didn't practice today. Uh, they also stated that Anton Harrison left Wednesday's practice early with his lingering shoulder injury. Uh, Harrison was wearing his you know, shoulder harness uh, today in practice, and he didn't finish today's practice also. He was notably in pain with, per multiple reports, and that, that pain seems to be a tolerance issue, which could possibly linger all throughout the season before it's resolved. He did today go through his one-on-ones, and he reportedly dominated his reps before sitting through some of the team drills. Uh, as far as these injuries how they affect the offensive line with Ben Bart still making his way back from the PUP list, Tyler Shatley's heart issue, Cam Robinson's four game suspension and Anton's lingering shoulder issue. What looked to originally be some pretty significant depth on the Jaguars offensive line now looks like it's going to truly be tested in the early weeks of the preseason and possibly even the season. Now there's no media availability uh, for the team today, both before practice and after practice. So it's quite possible we may not even get an answer on some of these items until after the game or right around game time. Um, in reference to the game, the Lions uh, coach has already confirmed that the Lions will be sitting their starters, probably because they lost both Jameson Williams and uh, Amron St. Brown. Uh, in Wednesday's practice, but also they did something similar with the, against the New York Giants when they had the joint practices last week and ended up focusing on their depth and their, you know, the non-starting players on their last game. So it's still up in the air whether or not the Jaguars are going to play their, you know, their healthy starters or whether or not they're going to sit their starters also, which I know is slightly a disappointment for most Jag fans, but um, we will see what the team announces over the next, I mean, probably over the next 24 hours, realistically, um, if they're going to end up playing the starters. But uh, visit BitCatCountry.com. We will have the post-practice analysis and updates with videos and such posted later this afternoon. And for all of your training camp needs, practice needs, and game time information, always visit the site and favorite it.